On the 11th of March 2011, the Great East Japan earthquake struck Tohoku. In addition to a massive earthquake and the tsunami that followed, there was a nuclear power plant accident, and the Tohoku region in particular suffered grave damage. It was a disaster of unparalleled proportions. However, the emphasis today is on recovery from the nuclear disaster. Tohoku and Fukushima are continuing on a steadfast journey of recovery. The data tell a story of dramatic recovery in all areas. By December 2021, all planned roads supporting reconstruction were completed, totaling a distance of 570 kilometers. The Joban line, which was damaged by the tsunami, also resumed full operation in March 2020. 29,654 units of public housing for survivors were built, and in regions damaged by the tsunami, 18,226 residential units were relocated to higher ground. Radiation air dose rates in Fukushima City have dropped dramatically thanks to radioactive decay over time and decontamination efforts. The radiation dose where Fukushima residents live is comparable to that of Tokyo and other major cities worldwide. There were 165,000 evacuees in Fukushima Prefecture after the disaster. That number dropped to 34,000. Manufactured product shipments from Fukushima Prefecture dropped to 85% the year of the disaster. Now they have returned to pre-disaster numbers. Agricultural product shipments also dropped to 79%, but have now returned to 90%. The marine products industry ceased operations following the disaster. However, in 2012, fishing trials began, and in April 2021, efforts began to return to full operation. Over the 11 years following the disaster, recovery has progressed steadily. The driving force behind this recovery is people because it is the people who envision a new future. Sarah Jones teaches English to children at an elementary school in Fukushima. News media Shanghai-born Zhu Kuanyi has been working in Fukushima since 2014. He currently works at the Fukushima 12 Municipality Relocation Support Center. Nisenjuen ま、A.G. Wader from J Village, the starting point of the Olympic torch relay, also spoke passionately about the recovery. The Tokyo 2020 Recovery Olympics have ended, and Fukushima recovery efforts have only gained more momentum. Those who live here, as well as people from around the world, are coming together to build a new future. Emboldened by a vision of what the future holds, Fukushima continues to forge ahead.